Hello. So in today's video, I am doing a video that I've wanted to do for a dang long time. All right. I've wanted to do it for a long time. I don't know why I haven't, but I'm sure glad that I did it today. All right. Because it looks so good. Ariel Mario Tennille. I don't really know if that's how you pronounce her name. Makeup by Kelly Ann. Used all their techniques. Used some more techniques. Patrick Tall. We got some Patrick Tall in there. Um, mainly makeup by Ariel though, because I love his diffused like whole look. So if you're like, oh my gosh, she looks like Katie Kardashian. Well, that's because I use their techniques, okay? And if you don't think that, well, then you're rude, all right? So, I loved so many things that I did in this video and all the techniques that I learned and used and things I did along the way. Some new products I found that I'm absolutely loving. If you wanna see how I got this look, girl, you better watch this video, okay? You better watch the video so you can learn for yourself so you can do these techniques because anytime I have a photo shoot or literally anything coming up and I'm like, finna be snatched, you know what I mean? This is what I'm gonna be doing. That's what I'm gonna be doing. I just. It's a little conceited, but I can't stop looking, okay? We're getting into the video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like. Subscribe and like. All right, let's get into it. Let's just, let's just get into it then because I'm excited. I am so excited to film this video. By the way, I just got my, I did my own nails. They're a press on. The girl don't be full. Didn't go through the salon. I'm trying to let my nails heal. Anyways, I'm so excited to do this video because I follow, like, 75% makeup artists and 25% fashion gurus. And that's just what I follow on Instagram. Same goes for YouTube. I just love watching them. I love their techniques. I love everything about it. So I was like, oh, why don't I make a video where I put not all, but like a good majority of what I've learned from makeup artists into a video and then like show you guys what I've learned, what techniques I like, what techniques, <coughs> what techniques I don't like. And I thought that would be so interesting Okay, I thought it would be so interesting. I've watched Scott Barnes. I've watched Makeup by Ariel. I've watched a million and ten on on Instagram. I mean, like, girl, I follow them all. And so I was like, this is my chance. This is my opportunity. So I'm going to go ahead and prep my skin. i am be using the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. They always use, like, oils and stuff. But my skin is super dehydrated right now. So I'm going to use a just moisturizer. A lot of them I've noticed use... Um, the Well It Is Skin Food, they'll use that. Or they use the brand Embryo Lease. I think that's how you say it. I don't really know how do you pronounce the actual brand of it. But it's the La Creme Concentrate. And that's my French accent. But anyway, they use that. Or they'll use Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, which I have. But it causes me to break out. So, like, that's just not my journey, you know. And so, um... Anyway, I just wanted to use this light moisturizer, and then I'm going to go in with an oil, which is actually a technique that I learned um, from Patrick Ta. And I know, like, a lot of other ones do it, but specifically, he always um, uses oil. He likes to use the La Mer oil, but it's not my journey to pay that much for an oil. Okay, so now that I have prepped my skin with the um, moisturizing lotion, I don't know... That I'm going to wear my SPF. I mean, I know I should wear my SPF. But for the sake of the video, I think I'm just going to skip that part. Because they never show that. Um, and I'm just going to go into my foundation and stuff. So, a lot of the foundations that they use. Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. Um, they use the Nude Sticks Tinted Cover, I want to say, foundation. Um, a lot of them will actually use Revlon Color Stay. Uh, but the majority of them, I feel like, use Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. And I actually do have that foundation literally sitting right beside me. But I don't want to use it because it's not my correct shade. And I feel like... I was gonna, I feel like I need to make an entire dedicated video just to this foundation, but it's the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear um, Foundation. This is the one that I'm talking about. I'm sure you've seen it probably 112 times. I'm actually just gonna take my ring off because I don't wanna get it. No, I'm not. Am I gonna get it dirty? I doubt it. Anyways, um, this foundation is absolutely stunning on the skin. And so I have you all like close up, pretty close up, so you guys can see my skin. All the things. It's kind of having a moment right now, which I feel like my hormones are kind of like out of whack. But this looks phenomenal on skin. And if you followed me for a while or you haven't, if you're new here, let me go ahead and inform you that I hate foundation with a burning passion. I feel like it just looks cakey on my skin. I can never get it to look the way that I want it to. Um, and that wasn't until I found, or that wasn't until I found this foundation, I fell in love with it. So what I'm going to do today is actually mix it. I love to mix really everything with this. It's the Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. Obviously, you don't have to use this one, um, but I'm just using this one because it's what I have. But The Ordinary makes a facial oil 
um, a Marula facial oil. So if you're like, girl, that is too expensive, I don't blame you. Um, just buy a different oil or use whatever you have. It really doesn't matter. It's just like the fact that you're using an oil. So whenever you use this, I do about two drops, sometimes one, it just depends. This is a very liquidy um, foundation though. It's probably not gonna match my body, either. I mean match my face either, but we're gonna work with it. Anyways, whenever you mix it with the oil, um, it kind of shears out the actual foundation. Yeah, that's super dark, but it's fine. We're just gonna roll with it, it doesn't matter. It's gonna be fairly sheer anyway. So whenever you mix it, like I said, it does shear out the formula and it kind of shears out the coverage as well. And I've noticed a lot of them will go in and just kind of blend for a ridiculous amount of time, especially if you've watched um, Makeup by Ariel, who is like Kylie Jenner's makeup artist. That's mainly what he's like known for as being her makeup artist. Um, but he's done Kim's makeup and a ton of other famous people's makeup. But anyway, he talks about the importance of literally just blending and blending and blending because he wants everything to look really seamless. He also talked about how um, he doesn't like to apply much product to the forehead because that's one of the first things people look at. And so whenever they look at it and they're just gonna see a lot of product, that's not like what you wanna go for. You know what I mean? Like you wanna go for something that's gonna look really natural and like, oh, you know, like clearly she has a full beat glam on, but she looks amazing and it's really like diffused and flawless. And that's what you wanna go for in this type of like, makeup if it's for studio lighting photography videos whatever so what we've learned prep the skin make sure the skin is hydrated a lot of people love to use thick cream moisturizers even if the client has oily skin and they can just go in with a mattifying primer or a mattifying um, powder but you do want to use things that are hydrating just because it looks really nice on the skin if you're going to go in with a ton of matte things it's going to end up looking cakey so you want to shear things out make them look natural make it look flawless and then really focus the product in the areas that you want coverage on so mine would definitely be in this area of my face i have a little bit of hyperpigmentation and then just like some larger pores if you've never tried this foundation i would highly recommend it i just i didn't really use much of it um, and then i mean i sheared it out too but i just think that it looks a lot like skin and it looks really flawless and beautiful. Something else I've noticed that makeup artists love to do, I feel like all of them love to do it, is use brushes, like over beauty blenders or anything. But that's just really not my vibe. But for the sake of the video, I guess I'm gonna do that. So let me go grab a brush. All right, I grabbed two brushes. Oh, I accidentally grabbed the wrong one. Okay, whatever, I'll just use this one. This is from the BH Cosmetics. This is a number six brush um, from the Marble Collection. Anyway. I feel like they all use brushes, which I feel like does give you that really nice, um, I don't wanna say like flawless effect, but it just like really airbrushed because I mean, it is a brush. So it's kind of just sweeping over the skin rather than pressing into the skin. Maybe that's why they do it. I'm dying to get the Makeup by Ariel and Morphe brush collaboration, just because I feel like I love makeup so much and I've been into it for years and I've never really invested in nice brushes. Um, I mean, I have a, a bunch of brushes, but I don't have that many nice ones. Plus, it's only a hundred bucks, so I don't think that's bad. Okay. All right. Listen up. I really actually love the way that that blended in this foundation because I feel like it looks so flawless. Like, it genuinely does. So, that's, that's nice. You learn something new every day. I would have never done that. Had it not been for the sake of this video. Also, I feel like a lot of makeup artists have like their cult favorite products where like, oh, I love this product. You know, I've used this for years. I use this on all my clients, whatever. And I feel like it is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation and it's the um, NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. But I feel like also just using their te techniques like what I'm doing right now makes a huge difference in your makeup. So I'm excited to see how the rest of this is gonna go. I, I guess I'm, I've not been sleeping all that well. I was actually telling Kayla about that yesterday. Like I just, I don't know, I don't feel like well rested. And so I'm kind of having some dark circles, which is rare for me. I sometimes have like hollowness under the eyes, but never dark circles, so I need to hydrate. Next, what the majority of them do, actually they don't even do base first. I kind of messed that up, but I was excited to use like this technique. So I went ahead and did it. Um, and then I'm just gonna bounce over with my beauty blender. They usually do eyes 
or he'll do brows and then eyes is what Ariel does. But I'm kind of just doing my normal order of things ish and just adding in their techniques. I actually saw a makeup tutorial that Ariel did. Um, actually, it wasn't a makeup tutorial. Maybe it was just a picture that he did. But it was with Kim and he used the, what is this? This is the KKW Matte Coco. Yeah, Matte Coco eyeshadow palette. And this is what it looks like if I can get it open. So this is it. It's really stunning. Um, so he's used this in a lot of her tutorials and then, or just makeup looks in general, and then this one as well. This is the Classic 2 palette, which is stunning. Um, they're about to actually completely close and reformulate, kind of like Kylie Cosmetics. So, if you're interested in getting something, now's the time to pick it up. But one of the eyeshadow techniques that he does, I'm actually going to use this. I know he used the shade Cream all over, and then he went in with Honey, I want to say, Sienna, Cocoa, I don't really know. I don't really know. But um, we're just going to play with it, and I'm going to do his techniques that he does, because I actually love the diffused looks that he does, and the way that it just looks so flawless and airbrushed. Um, but I also have really paid attention in his tutorials and just his looks in general on where he puts the eyeshadow depending on like the brow bone and things. Okay, so I'm going to dip into the shade Cream, which is the lightest shade in the palette right here. I'm going to dip into that shade and kind of just fluff it all around the lid. This is the Morphe M535 brush, if you are wondering. So kind of set that as like a base for the eyeshadow. Also, he said that he spends like 45 minutes plus on brows which is like literally the craziest thing i've ever heard in my life but also his i mean his his brow artistry is nice but like what so right now i feel like i look absolutely insane um but i'm trusting the process so i'm gonna dip into the shade right here what is this honey so it is the this shade right here she actually came out with a honey collection which i think is kind of neat i bought the blush but not crazy about it Going with that same brush. And then one of the things he said that he does is he'll like fluff it out and bring it into the inner corner. Like really focus it on the inner corner of the eye right there, which I thought was quite interesting because that's something that I never do with my makeup. Like I just, I don't, I just don't, you know? So I'm just gonna keep building that color up and then bring it in the inner corner. And I'm holding my um, hand down here at the basically very into the brush because the lighter or the further down you hold it the lighter your touch will be and that's what he says he likes to do to create those really diffused looks okay i'm gonna do that to my other eye i find that this eye is always harder to do than this one this is the one that i always do first i just had a call i had to answer and what i was saying is that it's really difficult for me to do this eye because they're just very different like this brow bone is different than this brow bone. And this eye, eyebrow is also different. Has a um, scar. So. Foundation is looking a little patchy. But it's not the actual foundation's fault. It's my skin's fault. I feel like I need a dermaplane really, really bad. Um, and I just haven't done that. So. Also another technique that I've been told. Slash seen. Is doing your makeup with your eyes open. I don't remember who was talking about that. Who was talking about that? Oh. Uh, Harouche. Harouche? Harouche. Um, because she was like, you can't see, you know, how how it's supposed to look or how it's going to look with your eyes closed. She was like, it's very important to do it. Oh my gosh, wait, this totally makes sense. Does this eye not look like Kylie Jenner's, like, the shape of her eye shadow? Am I Kylie Jenner? Probably so. Anyway. Um, she was talking about how important it is to do your makeup with your eyes open or your eyeshadow with your eyes open, um, so you can see what it looks like as you're doing it, because people do have different eye shapes on both sides. Sometimes your brow bone's a little higher. Sometimes you might have more creases in one eye, whatever the case may be. And so if you're closing your eye, then you are gonna open and it's gonna look completely different. You know what I mean? For it to look the same on both eyes, if the eyes are different, you may have to use different techniques for both eyes. And so I feel like that's kind of what I have to do. Um, so I love, I love that tip. So I'm just taking these same colors, literally over and over, blending them up, building them up, I guess, blending and building to create a really diffused look. And again, my hand is still really down towards the bottom, just so it looks super diffused, light, airy, all the things. I feel like this is such a vibe. Hooray. I'm also going to be kind of like baking, which I'm really nervous to do. Just because, like, I never do that. I think I'm going to take this Morphe M433 right here. It's like a tapered blending brush. 
and I'm gonna go into the shade Coco, which is another shade that he used. It's just this matte brown right here. So it's kind of a janky way of showing you, but you get it. And I'm just gonna go towards the outer corner blend, blend, blend. And we're blending. It also helps if you kind of look down, like have your head tilted back a little bit. I guess not look down, but have your head, head tilted back. I'm gonna put this down and just blend the heck out of it. A lot of makeup artists too will talk about how they love um, the cohesiveness of like using whatever bronzer they're gonna use on the face um, on the eyes, just so it has like that very well put together look. I'm kind of holding it in the middle now because I want to blend all these together really well. I don't want it to be harsh. I feel like this definitely is already looking like a Kardashian makeup look because how diffused it is and because I brought it in the inner corner so much, which is a lot smokier than I traditionally do. But I mean, if I'm gonna be a Kardashian, then I'm gonna be a Kardashian. I'm actually gonna dip into this bronzer. This is a Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Airbrush Bronzer. Yeah. Um, and I'm just gonna kind of use that as a buffer. So as a buffing shade to just blend all of it in. I could see definitely how important it would be to, um, to blend forever though. Especially like for a red carpet look or something like that. Like you got these high def cameras and they're gonna be snapping images left and right. And your girl's gotta be looking snatched. That was a little dramatic, but like you get the point. I think this might be like my new technique. If you catch me on the street, don't text. Your girl's learning things. She's doing things. Okay, now I'm gonna go back into the first palette that I used actually the only palette I used, and use the shade Cream again, and mix it, actually I'm gonna mix it with the one beside of it, that's the shade Sandstone. And just kind of buff it here, cause it's lighter. And we wanna bring in some lightness to the inner corner. Yes ma'am, we do. Hi. Hi. Fabulous, there's your debut. <laughs> okay. All right, I gotta get back to it, kids. Okay, let's get back to it. We had a short intermission. I had to go fix some hair before Bible school. You know the deal. So, back into it. Still blending the eyeshadow. Still blending the eyeshadow. One hour later. Fabulous. Love that for me. Okay, overall, I feel like once this gets, like, put together, it will look so good. Um, but I am gonna put on just a little bit more of that cream shadow. This is on a BH Cosmetics number 8 brush. I'm gonna just put it in the front because I'd like to add some lightness there. I must have had shimmer on one of these brushes because I'm seeing ooh, I had hiccups. Some shimmer peek through. I am going to move on to my brows, I think. And to do my brows, he says that he likes to really keep the natural brow, like whatever shape your brow is, like that's the shape he wants it to be. Um, and that's always how I do my brows. So this is the Sephora brand retractable brow pencil. And this is in the shade medium brown. I really like this a whole lot. Um, cause it is so fine. So it really gives you a lot of control over like making hair like strokes and stuff. So he always brushes and but whenever I'm saying he, I'm talking about Ariel. Cause I feel like right now he is like my favorite, um, face makeup artist. Like he just really diffuses the skin, makes it look flawless. I am scared to do, I'm scared to do uh, setting powder though, because I hate powder, but everybody says after they go to his, oh my gosh, I just dug in this bronzer. That makes me want to cry. It's okay. Everybody says after they go to his master class, he always talks about like the importance of powder and stuff. And then they like stop hating powder and they're like, oh my gosh, it changed my life, you know? So he says he likes to bring the brows like really far in, which is fine with me because I have hairs that start like right here. So I'm just gonna go and do like tiny, tiny upward strokes. I feel like he does a really good job diffusing brows and it's always like, really light at the front and then goes into a darker brow. And he says he likes to pull it out towards your temple. So it's kind of what I'm doing is I have pretty, not like to my own horn, but like I'm pretty okay with my brows. Um, they have like 
mm, I don't know, just like a fairly good shape for my face, I feel like. I can see why he takes so long doing brows though because they do make such a difference. I've been using a new serum on my brows that I feel like has made them grow significantly, um, which I can share with you guys in a later video if that's something that you would enjoy. It's actually not for um, brows in particular, but I was like, I feel like if you can use it on your hair, you can use it on your brows. It's the ordinary one. It's just like a hair serum. Okay, so for my brows, like I'm pretty good with that. It's as good as it's gonna get because I don't really care that much about brows. I feel like they look good. They've shaped my face and I'm happy with it. So now I'm gonna go in with concealer. This is the one I'm gonna use. He actually says that he likes to use a concealer that's not so much darker than the face, or not so much lighter than the actual um, face, but this is my absolute favorite one. And I feel like it does oxidize a little bit. I've used this for a million and 10 years. Actually, I haven't. I've just started using it this year, but nevertheless, this is from Ilias, the True Skin Serum Concealer, and he focuses the concealer right here. Like, that's it. That's what he does. And he says he likes to bring the brightness of the face and he just keeps it in this area. So I'm gonna go in with this Rare Beauty, um, I don't know what is this called, but it's just the concealer brush that they have. And I would really like to get his brush because it's so like, I don't know, again, I'm gonna say this like a million and 10 times, but it just looks so diffused. And so I'm like, I want, I wanna use that, you know, like I want my products to be really diffused. I actually like to go in with a Beauty Blender first just to like spread it out. And then, um, or a beauty sponge and then go in with a brush. But he keeps all of the brightness right here. Okay, the more that I'm like following his makeup artistry and his techniques, the more I swear that like he's really been telling the truth on what he does because it does just look like, like a Kardashian, you know what I mean? Or Jenner, Kendall, or Kylie, I mean. That's literally like what he looks like or what it looks like. Like he keeps the the lightness right here. I don't know why I can't talk. I just physically, emotionally cannot. Um, well, how about that? How about it? Oh my gosh. Literally crazy. He says he really likes to use pink hues. So I didn't have anything that was pink that was like a pink color because I don't use pink on my face. So I picked up this today. This is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder, and this is in the shade Light Pink. So, I mean, I guess we're using some pink powder today, you guys. And then he also uses a Velour Puff, so I picked up some puffs. I don't know if he uses, like, I doubt that he uses these. Your girl got it from Walmart. Equate brand, baby. They make toothpaste, they make puffs, you know what I mean? Um, but that's what he uses, and so... Here, here goes nothing. I'm a little skirt. I'm actually gonna bend it up like this so I can get into like the corners, you know? I dag it off my leg. I think he uses like, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> Why does it look so good? Okay, not okay. Oh my gosh, holy Lord. Are we seeing this? Are we seeing this? Did I just find something at the drugstore that mm, changes lives? I guess so. I guess I did. Then he takes the velour puff, kind of gets it all over, or gets product all over it, and then just pats, pats the face. I'm so shook. I really, 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 really thought that I was gonna hate this so much, but I don't hate it. I'm just gonna go in and kinda dust because I think I use a little bit too much. My face looks flawless. Then we're gonna take the bronzer. This bronzer is the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer that I'm always using. This is in the shade two. I do have three, I need to get that out. I'm just gonna take this Sonia Kashuk brush because I think this is like really the only one I have over here that's like bronzerish and bronze up the face. Now I know that he does like to contour but then he goes over with bronzer and we all know Miss Kimmy girl loves a good bronze moment 
and then he kind of contours the side of the face which we'll do we'll work on that in a minute it immediately why do i look so flawless like i have never in my life been like this soft glam but like full glam you know what i mean so i'm gonna take this um elf actually this is like their complexion duo brush i'm gonna take this kind of pinch it up dip into the bronzer and then go down the side of my nose for that like extra snatched nose moment i actually had another call um while i was putting on my lip liner so I adjusted the lighting because for some reason it went like dim and I don't understand. So I hope that you guys can actually see like how everything looks and it looks really flawless and whatnot. Cause um, it does look flawless. So I'm using that and then I'm using the Fawn Beauty. Um, this is the shade and Nude. Okay guys, so I finished up the look. I added on the mascara and I added on um, a basic from Fawn Beauty. And literally that's it. I feel like my makeup looks better than it has ever looked in my entire life. I feel like every technique that I used, I fell in love with. The setting powder, the Halo Glow setting powder from e.l.f. in light pink, absolutely stunning. I'll definitely be using that again. This foundation looks flawless. The eyeshadow makeup, the eyeshadow technique that I did, flawless. I'm literally in love with my makeup and I was 100% ready to take it off as soon as the video was like over and be like, let me cleanse my soul, let me cleanse my face and go sit on the porch and do some work, you know? But I'm literally just gonna sit out on the porch and do my work in my full face of makeup because it looks good, you know? And my eyelashes are having a moment over here. I don't really know what's going on with those, but we're not gonna talk about it. We're just gonna let it have its moment. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed this video because I feel like I see all these makeup artist techniques, but I never actually put them into play. So being able to use them and do them really made a big difference in my makeup. And for any event makeup that I need to do, any makeup on anybody that I need to do, etc. I will definitely be doing this. I absolutely love the concealer hack where you just put it here. Um, I love I love that powder with the with the powder puff, kind of like rolled up, you know, and just like pressing it in. I feel like that made it look so, so flawless. I think that it just looks so nice, so seamless, so airbrushed and like just genuinely flawless. So I'm really, really happy with my makeup. Uh, I love bringing the eyeshadow in where the eyeshadow kind of connects and then it goes into like a contour of the nose. I just... I feel like I might be Kate Kardashian. Don't come at me. Oh my gosh. So anyway, if you like this video, then please literally like the video. Subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to do three to three ish videos a week um, and get back into it because I really enjoy doing YouTube and I like to like hear y'all's feedback on my videos and such, you know? Sure. So that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, like the video before you leave. Comment down below if there's any makeup techniques that you think that I should use or like makeup artists that you adore that I should also adore. Let a girl know. Let a girl know. And uh, yeah, that's all. Thank you so much for watching. Try out the techniques. And let me know what you think. Have a lovely day.